Hi there, this is Alvin with kickstartcommerce.com and in today's tutorial we will discuss how to no index, no follow a post or a page in WordPress without using a WordPress plugin and this is specifically for WordPress websites that use the Yoast SEO plugin. And so let's go ahead and dive into the code base here. So essentially if you have thousands of pages that are out there that you just need to know index in a given category, this is going to be a script that you will want to set up and run likely on a cron job so that it runs automatically at least once a day or once a week or whenever uh, you set that up. We're not going to get into the cron job, but we will dive into how to mark uh, these posts or pages in WordPress without a plugin, um, those that use the Yoast SEO. So I'm not really going to dive into the details. I'm just going to point out a couple of things, obviously, that you're going to require the WP uh, load.php uh, file. And I put this script inside of another folder. So that's why you see that dot dot there that lead into because that means that this WP load uh, file is in the root directory. So you could actually put the script in the root directory, the, uh, root directory and you wouldn't have to have that lead into. That being said, the table that you're going to modify is Yoast underscore inde indexable or, you know, you probably have a WordPress prefix in front of it, but you're looking for Yoast under, underscore indexable. And then you'll want to instantiate the WP underscore query uh, function. You're going to pass it to arguments, the category, as well as the post per page. This needs to be set to negative one so that you can get all the posts within a given category. I have two categories that of posts that actually need this done. And um, in one sense, I could have, when I'm programmatically creating these domain lists that I create, uh, or rather I don't manually create them, but they're automatically or programmatically created. I could have put in, um, and I'll likely do another tutorial video on it, but I could have put in place to where the page, when it gets created, it's actually marked index. But this is for if you have all these pages that are out there and you need to backtrack and go backwards um, and index all of them without doing it by hand. That being said, instantiate that WP underscore uh, query function, and then you will go through a couple of if and while loop statements. Uh, and within there, we'll need to get the blog post ID or the page ID. And then we just need to run a simple function called no, uh, robot no index exists. This function will go out and check in that indexable table of whether or not a post or a page is. Um, has it been marked as index? If it's marked as index, it'll return true. If not, it'll return false. Come back up here to line 39 and where I've highlighted where it says if not that variable. So if not is post no index, then we need to mark it as index. And this is where you'll pass in the robot data for either no index or no follow. If you want to index, you will put that no index as a numeral one or numeric one. If you want to no follow, you will put that as a numeric one, or if you want the crawler to still follow, you leave it as a zero as I have in the example. Uh, last but not least, you'll need the object ID, and that'll be the post ID, and then the object type and subtype, which both of those need to be identical. Either if it's post, it'll both, they'll both need to be post, or if it's a page, both of these will need to be set to page. I did, Put some notes in there that it could be an array of post page. I don't know why you do that. Um, there could be a situation of, of some such, but I'm like, man, that's so complex and that's a whole different uh, tutorial topic. Nevertheless, you're now ready to update the Yoast table with the robot data and the post data. And if it does, then it succeeds. If not, then we just say, hey, it was already marked as whatever it was and nothing was needed to be performed. And then I just echo that out to the I echo a message out about the post, its status, and whether or not it was indexed. Um, and that's that's it. Then you just need to take this code and set it up in a cron job. And there are more than enough tutorials out there to show you how to go and set up a cron job. I will show you on the front end here. Um, so I have domain marketplace. We'll go to expired domain auctions. Um, and I'll just choose one. I'll choose one from a previous day. And this is the list of domains. Uh, so let's check the view page source. And I do minimize my um, HTML, CSS, and 
we show this as meta robots, no index, follow. So that means it's gonna not be indexed by search engines, which is good. And I will, let me put, see if the script is already run or not. Hopefully not, so y'all can actually see a page that is. Let's see here. Let's see if it'll show us a page. Oop. Yeah, so that's perfect. So this is a page where the script has not run yet and it says index follow uh, up there in the upper left hand where I got it highlighted. So, so yeah, that script will run and then this will be changed and next time we come back and view it, it will say no index and then it'll be follow and all everything else will be removed. Um, and so yeah, I hope that this tutorial helps you out. Let me know if you have any questions, any comments, need any other assistance. And uh, other than that, um, thanks and that's all for now.